can see when the dogs work, they're very predator-like in their behavior because the ant light him. <laughs> All right, I really don't want the sheep leaving yet. Lie down, buddy. Stay there. Good. You all stay with me. Anyway, the ancestors of the dogs were prey an predator animals. They were definitely the wolves. The ancestors of these animals were the wolves' dinner. The predator, the prey animals, sorry. And some of that relationship still exists. But people often ask us if the dog, if the sheep are afraid of the dogs. If these sheep were afraid of these dogs, they wouldn't be standing here calmly. They aren't truly afraid of the dogs, but they do respect the dogs' ability to control their movements because that's what herding is, controlling the movement of the stock. Now, you've seen the dogs fetch the sheep to the handlers, and as I said, it's the natural inclination of the dogs to fetch them to the, to the handler. But they also can be taught to drive the sheep away. So I'm going to ask Cap to pretend it's the next morning at home on my farm, and we need these sheep taken back out to their field. So we're going to attempt to drive them through those two white panels over to the right, as if we're driving them through a gate in the fence line. So let me talk to Cap and see if we can convince these sheep that are being a little contrary to drive out through those two white panels. Let's see how this goes. and that's too bad because there's a solution for sheep who don't want to do their jobs and the job of these sheep is not it's not that difficult one day a month maybe she has to come and do a couple sheepdog demos uh, but the ultimate solution for the non-compliance is dinner dinner freezer dog food whatever <laughs> so she doesn't realize that yet we need to impress upon her there are consequences to her poor behavior anyway so Kep was able to get those sheep out through those two white panels. Now you've heard uh, us communicate with our dogs using verbal commands, using whistle commands. Right now we're gonna show you the commands that you need to teach your dog to have it be a truly useful partner. So let me give Kep a well-deserved break and then we'll get outside. <laughs> 